Hey, how you doing? It's Pastor Melrick Bogier at the Virginia Beach Worship Center, singer, pastor, and founder. Uh, you are joining us yet again for our video blog as we are walking through the 90-day challenge, reading the Bible in 90 days. I pray you had a great weekend. Mine has just been uh, on skates as always. Uh, of course, the Melrick Bogier radio show on Friday nights. Uh, then we were at Joy Fest all day on Saturday. There were Kirk Franklin, Ty Tribbett, Marvin Sapp, and others up at Kings Dominion and and Doswell, Virginia. And then, of course, yesterday at the greatest church in the Milky Way Galaxy, the Virginia Beach Worship Center, went out and followed God's leading and did an eight-part sermon series in one sermon. Uh, just walking right through day 34 and 35 of our 90-day challenge from Psalms 1, 8, 16, all the way up to 139. And we thank God for that, simply entitled, Go Hard or Go Home. Uh, but today we're continuing in our sermon series, or rather our Bible series, the 90-day challenge. Uh, we're spending, the, again, those 90 days going through the Word of the Lord. And today we're reading from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 2 through 3 and chapter 6, uh, entitled Solomon in the Temple. Ask a simple question in my update today. My status is, aren't you sick and tired of stuff trying to get the best of you and those that are that are near you? Uh, here's the thing that we understand about Solomon. Solomon is notorious, known for being a man of wisdom. Uh, but also we understand the encounter, or if you have not, you will read about the encounter of Solomon's temple where the glory of the Lord was so rich, the worship was so rich that the people, or rather the ministers, could not stand to minister. And I said this simple formula for you, that wisdom plus worship equals wellness. Simply put, that when you worship God, is when you become wise. When you worship God, you can hear from God and you can speak to God. But it's in your wisdom, your time of wise choices, your wise choice will be to make sure I spend time in worship. Make sure I spend time with God. So my wisdom makes me worship, but my worship makes me wise. And at the end of the day, those two added together are what makes me well. See, I have my joy and my peace is based on my worship. My worship is based on my wisdom, knowing that that's what I need. So wisdom plus worship equals wellness. I encourage you to continue to worship God in all that you do. Continue to let him speak to you so that you can get wisdom. And at the end of the day, my friend, you're going to be well. Your day is going to be well. Your month's going to be well. And those that are connected to you, they're going to be well too because you're going to intercede for them. Hey, I'm Pastor Melroy Bogier, Senior Pastor Founder of Virginia Beach Worship Center in the beautiful, beautiful city of Virginia Beach. I want you to join us. If you don't have a church home and you're in Hampton Roads, join us at 1313 Indian Lakes Boulevard every Sunday at 1030 a.m. I thank you for being part of the 90-Day Challenge and looking forward to continuing to go through this with you. All our contact information is on the screen. You have questions, you want the reading plan, or whatever else it is that you need, we'll be glad to get it to you. I love you with the love of the Lord, and I'm so glad you're going through this challenge with us. You will be blessed, and you will be better at the end of it. God bless.